And there she is, looking all pretty again. Well, almost. Let's try this again, shall we? Hello everyone, welcome to another video. You join me today on a lovely, lovely Friday morning. It's about 13 degrees and the weather is fantastic, as you can probably see. Now this is my second attempt at recording this video. I tried to do it yesterday, but it didn't work out because I'm using a new camera. I got myself a GoPro Hero 7 Black, which means I'm now running the audio directly through the camera. Still the same microphone. I tried using another one and it didn't work. So I'm hoping that this time it actually does. But I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. But let me tell you, it feels a lot better now knowing that I don't have to rely on the drift to record audio and that I can just record it straight into the GoPro even though they've got that ridiculous adapter thing <gasps> Puppy! Hello! Oh, you are so German Wait, which lane should I be in actually? No idea, but I'll follow the puppy When in doubt, follow the puppy Hey, Crow! In terms of editing as well, not having to sync audio to video anymore, that's amazing. I really, really, really miss not, not having to do that. It was just a pain because the drift recorded in a certain file pattern and then the GoPro recorded in a different one. So syncing up the audio, it wasn't something that I just had to do once. I had to do it several times per video, which was an absolute pain. So I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore, you know, assuming that this actually works. Of course, the other old GoPro still works just fine, but, you know, I just use this as an excuse to get a black version uh, because of the reasons I've already explained. Uh, I'm quite happy with it so far. I mean, the image quality is amazing, although the audio that came out yesterday was horrendous. I'm hoping that with this new, new mic, that it's better. So as you probably saw from the intro of the video, uh, the, the GXXR is looking pretty again for the most part. And yeah, that is true. But, you know, there's still a few things to be done to it. For instance, it needs a new tank. I've already got a new tank, but uh, I'm not going to put it on just yet. Uh, it needs new fairings. Uh, which I have not bought yet. I, I don't think I'm going to buy them anytime soon. I just can't justify. Watching the speed. There it is. So yeah, as I was saying before I got sidetracked, the GSXR is looking all pretty again. I'm not going to buy a new set of fairings because I can't justify it. Because it's like £400. But it, that's funny. Because, you know, just to keep things into perspective, it's just plastic and it's £400 for a set of plastics. This side panel, actually no, this one here, this big side fairing for this bike, co cost brand new £415 or something like that. When I broke it and I went to the dealership to get a quote on how much it would be to replace it, they quoted me £415, plus fitting of course. So I went on eBay and I found another one that was a little bit scuffed for less than half that. <laughs> but that amount of money just for one panel, whereas I could get a full set for the GSXR for about 400. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I know it's 20 years difference between these two bikes, but still, that is a lot of money. I haven't even told them where we're going today. I'm heading down to Thunder Road Motorcycles in Cumbran. I think that's how you say it and um, I'm gonna buy some leather treatment product for the suit because it got a little bit messed up in the crash and I want to use it again so it needs a little bit of treatment and even if I, if I didn't crash in it it would need treatment sooner or later but yeah I don't want it to dry out and crack so I'm gonna give it some love today yesterday I finally finished uh, fixing up the GSXR the last thing I had to do was fit a new rear tail light, an integrated tail light, and I actually messed that up because I'm horrible with electrics. Let me just get that thing straight. I am horrible at electric components. So I managed to put a positive with a negative and a negative with a positive, and it basically fried a couple of electric components. It killed my dash, it killed the tail light completely and it killed all of the indicators 
but thankfully it didn't kill the ignition or anything like that and uh, yeah basically it just blew the fuse so I was just around going around the bike through the fuse boxes I think there are two I only went through one anyways but yeah went through the fuse box and I found the broken fuse the popped fuse and thankfully the bike came with replacements so they hadn't been used I actually talked to Thunder Road Motorcycles yesterday to ask them how much would it be to diagnose the issue and they quoted me £75 an hour I obviously said hell no and elected to find the issue myself and I did and it was fairly simple I just had to look through a bunch of fuses if there's been one positive from this crash it's definitely been the fact that it's taught me a lot about my bike I've taken that bike apart I've found out things about it, I found that dead bird still no idea where that came from, no idea how long it's been there but it was there, it was dead and it made me sad so yeah, I've been, I've been actually enjoying doing stuff on the bike and uh, fitting new parts and replacing old ones like I'm horrible at electrics but even I managed to do the indicators just fine and it just goes to show that if if I can do this sort of thing, anyone can. So I don't, I don't think I have anything else to add to this vlog really, so I think I'm going to just end it here. Thanks very much for watching guys, if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button, subscribe and hit notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye!